Hey savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here, and today I wanted to explore System76 and build a PC on here. If you're new and stopping by to watch a video today, please make sure to go ahead and hit subscribe and hit the notification bell for more Linux and programming videos. I'm going to go ahead and try building the most expensive Linux PC that I can here on the System76.com website just for some fun and to see what kind of powerful Linux PC we can get. System76 is a great place where you can get full-blown Linux computers that come with Linux standard on them. As you can see, it says that Pop! OS, which is the default operating system that comes on System76 computers, 20.04 has landed, meaning that they offer 20.4 long-term support on their desktops and laptops. If you haven't already checked out System76, make sure you do quite interesting you can see all their various different laptops that they have available here they got quite a bit of them they also have the mighty mini which is a miniature computer with an intel core i7 cpu in it so very powerful but a very small form factor they call it the meerkat and then we got the thelio it looks really good for a stand-up PC. You can see it has various different finishes. And then the Thelio Major available even with the Threadripper Ryzen 399X up to 64 cores. How amazing. And all running on Linux. So you know you get the best resource usage because you're running on Linux. So many computers available and they seem to have quite some nice options. So I'm going to actually, since we're trying to build the most expensive thing we can, I'm going to go with the Thelio Major and hit explore now. Let's go ahead and design and buy this thing. I'm not going to actually buy it, of course, because my guess is this thing's going to be over 15 grand easily. So here we can configure our Thelio Major. Let's go ahead and go down. So uh, to begin, we can go with the Intel Core X because that's only up to 18 cores. We might as well go with the AMD. AMD Threadripper 3 that starts at 24 cores and goes up to 64. So we'll keep that. Define our style. Well, well, we have expensive styling taste, so why not go with the Neptune Blue? So far, we're up to about $3,877, or we can pay as low as $131 a month. So at this point, we could probably get a used car that barely runs. And then for the operating system, we get to choose between two types. We got the Pop! OS 20.04 LTS. Of course, that's based on Ubuntu and great for gaming. But we also have the choice to choose Ubuntu 20.04, the 64-bit version for $0. I'm going to go ahead and stick with Pop! OS since that's the default one. And moving on to the processor. So we chose the Threadripper, but... We do have the option of going for 24 cores, but why do that when for $3,000 we have the option to go up to the 4.3 gigahertz, 64 core, and 128 thread AMD processor here, the 3990X. I'm going to go with that. And now we're bumped up to about uh, $6,900. You could probably get a used car that's pretty reliable at this point. Might be about 10 years old, but hey, it's still running. The next portion is the memory, which of course I'm going with the most expensive option, the 256 gig quad channel DDR4, clocking in at 3200 megahertz, and that's eight sticks of 32 gigabytes, and we're up to 8,600 and about $50. So what are we going to select for our storage disk here? Well, let's see. As I'm looking around, it looks like eight terabytes is the biggest option and that's running at the 2900 megabytes per second for write and 3300 megabytes for read. That's a PCI generation three, M.2 PCI Express, or better known as an NVMe, solid state drive, and now we're upwards of $10,500. Well, we're already up there real close to the amount that I thought it'd be, around $15,000, but I think we're gonna go ahead and shatter that today. So do we need an additional card? Of course we do. We'll get another M.2 SSD, and it's too bad we can't get another eight terabyte one, but we'll stick with the four terabytes since uh, we can go ahead and do that. And following that, we can get an SSD, but the 2.5 inch form factor. Let's see. The most expensive one I could find here is the 32 terabyte SSD. Let's go with that. And moving on, our first GPU. Of course, we're going to have two in this System76 computer. Why not? We're already shattering the amount that I thought we'd be at, which is around $15,000. But it just goes to show you how much you can actually upgrade here in your System76 computer. So kudos to them for allowing this level of customization, which really pairs well with your Linux distribution that you're going to have on this computer. 
we're gonna go with the 48 gigabyte Nvidia Quattro RTX 8000 with 4,608 CUDA cores. That's $23,000 at this point. And of course we have the first GPU, so we're not gonna skimp out on a second one. We're gonna do the exact same thing again and do the 48 gigabytes for about $6,000. No big deal at this point, cause we're almost in the $30,000 range. Built-in Wi-Fi, you can't choose anything else besides what they already give you, so we'll keep it what it is. Do we need a monitor? Why not? It's only $1,000, and at this point, it really doesn't matter. We'll add in some peripherals here, some accessories, and of course, we'll want the three-year limited warranty and shipping coverage. And as far as recycling, we won't need any more computers, so we'll recycle all of our computers. And the total comes in to $31,211 for an absolutely amazing computer. Again, this is 64 cores of a Threadripper with I believe 4.3 gigahertz, a ton of memory, a ton of storage, and very fast storage. And it's quite amazing what you can all build in a System76 computer. Of course, there are plenty of different options here. You got servers, you got the mini version, and you got laptops. Now, of course, this 31,200 isn't something that many people are going to go ahead and buy. Of course, if you wanted everything top of the line, you might wanna go ahead and check it out. But they do have reasonable prices here on System76 with Linux built onto it. There's laptops starting as low as $1,000. So make sure to go ahead and check them out. There's also the mini, which allows you to go ahead and design and purchase that one as well. You can see it starts out here at $555, which is quite reasonable for a mini computer of this magnitude. If we go back to the desktops where we were uh, building this Thelio, let's see what that started out as, I don't remember. You can get the normal Thelio here starting at about $900, not bad at all. Well, now that I see the Thelio Massive, maybe we could have made it even more expensive. Let me know if you can make it more expensive or let me know if you've uh, purchased a System76 computer already and what you think about it in the comments section below. I appreciate what the System76 community is doing for Linux and I hope they continue because they're one of the few that offer Linux exclusively on their systems. It's really cool to go ahead and have a computer hardware vendor that does this and I hope they keep it up. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video on trying to price the most expensive computer on System76. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please post them in the comments section below. Also make sure to go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe for more videos as well as hit that notification bell if you're subscribed. I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.